What's going on, everybody? I, I know it is FL Studio that is right in front of us, so everybody relax, chill. Surprise, motherfucker. Calm the fuck down, and we're going to get into this tutorial. Trap Tendo. So what we're going to talk about is the fastest, easiest, proper way to create ARPs in FL Studio. I got the sound in front of us. And we're going to use the span. It doesn't matter. So, all right. So I will tell you that you should go up to FL Studio 12.3 or higher if you want to use this option the way I'm going to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to access my piano roll. You already know how to access the piano roll. If you don't, let's go back out. You right click on this and then you go to piano roll. There you go. So from here, go to the drop down menu and we're going to just select the scale. I'm going to go to scale highlight. I'm just going to select a right click over here on the C and I'm going to select the C major for right now. Uh, and that's what I was just playing. Oh, well, a bad job now. There we go. So with that, I'm going to go and drop in some MIDI notes here, the old school way. There we go. And we have something here. Now press Alt and A, and then you have ARPS. Now there is an inherent problem here. How would you mess with this or adjust this? So first off, I'm just gonna go into regular patterns here, normal. I'm gonna go into normal, I'm not gonna uh, flip it. There we go. So it's gonna go up like a arpeggio instead of what it was doing the flip side there. So that's pretty much the, the basic way you would do that. You can select the range here so you can have it go all the way up. And you know, you can adjust it to uh, like one or something like that and it'd be like this. But anyway, so I'm gonna go up to range three here. And then you can also change the timing on it too, so it doesn't have to be as uh, fast. And then you can change the gate feature, of course. You can change it to be really short. And so forth here. So. Uh, and the reason why I teach this is because it's the easiest way to do it. And that way, I know that other people uh, teach you this version right here where they go in here. And it's funny because there's like when we was checking, shout out to 808 Mafia, Mac of 808 Mafia uh, for bringing me back in FL. But anyways, so when it when he was when we was discussing this or whatnot, everybody shows off this way of doing it. Of course, you can go into your options of your sampler or whatever the heck this called in FL and you can set this on to up or down up down and all that but there's an inherent problem when you're laying it out here so if I was to lay that out I'm gonna go and uh clone this I'm gonna Gucci main this over here shout out to Gucci man don't get mad at me because I do want to work with you in the future but <laughs> So, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and record that and show you the inherent problem with that. All right, now that we have that in there, we're looking at it. And what is the inherent problem? You can't adjust this shit. Like, there's nothing that you can do to further play with that if you was to uh, mess around with the, the scale that you had selected or whatnot. So... You know, working with this, I'm just going to go back out and we're going to use the this one again. I'm going to go ahead and go back in there and I'm going to uh, turn this off because you don't want to do it this way. It is 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 not as versatile. Now, if you do make a chord, of course, you know, with the whole scale highlighting thing, uh, guess what happens when you do all a it will fix it. It will fix it and it will be within that scale. Now you want to know why this is again, this is more effective because look, I can mess with this. I can drag stuff up and down. You know, I can delete whatever I want. You know, I, I can just do what the hell I want right here. 
Maybe I don't want this right here. I, maybe I don't want that note. I, I could go. That's ugly as all hell, but hey, we still can mess with this further than using this particular part right here. It is way more versatile in that regard. Just by pressing all A. Uh, highlighting it and pressing all A. Uh, there are other things, of course, you can do with this. I, I do recommend uh, using uh, this particular technique on 808s because if you have like your 808 drum line or whatever, which I don't have anything drummed out or, or laid out, you can have some crazy 808s. If a lot of you guys are wondering how I do 808s and stuff like that, me and Ocean View, that's pretty much the way we do that. So what do you think about my new technique? Is it easier? Is it better? Is it proper? Let me know in the comment section because I, I really want to hear what the arguments will be about the older version that everybody else teaches. Mm -hmm.